Hey guys, this is actually something I've been interested in doing for a while. It's modeled after a conversation that I had with Kyle Hill when I was out at EduCon in LA over the summer. And the idea is essentially that what Kyle does, at least on his channel, is has videos called footnotes where he can answer questions from the comment section, but also correct any errors that he may have made, clarify things, etc. Um, I'm calling it peer review. For those who aren't familiar with academia, peer review is the process that papers go through when you submit them to journals, and it's basically a way of having other experts come in and weigh in on whether or not you explained a topic well enough, or need extra data for an experiment, or anything like that. I thought that the video that I released on Friday would be a good opportunity to do an everyday I peer review for the first time. Um, so let me know what you think about this, and yeah, I guess we'll get started. So while a lot of you liked the video, and thank you for liking the video, uh, a comment that showed up frequently was the criticism that I didn't talk about any liberal radicalization via algorithms. Um, and so there's two, I guess, clarification slash correction slash points I want to make here. Um, the first is that I didn't mean to say that there's like no liberal bias in anything, um, especially when it comes to the media um, and how content is shared. I didn't consider that to be algorithmic bias for the purposes of this video. I was thinking more about things like YouTube's recommendation system um, than things like what gets shared on Facebook and like whether or not that's fact-checked. Um, and so that was something that I talked about in the video, the fact that like internet silos are a really big thing um, that often influence people's beliefs and cause them to not engage with other opinions. And then that can be something that causes the same kind of radicalization that people are claiming that we're seeing with things like the YouTube algorithm. The second point I want to make is with regard to the paper that I use as an example of a possible method of algorithmic radicalization. And I should have made this clear, um, I was only using that paper as an example of someone who had done some sort of study on this topic. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there just isn't really a ton of research on this. Um, and I have pulled a couple extra papers that talk about al algorithmic radicalization more broadly, um, if you want to look into that. But even some of the research has been done by like investigative journalists for the Wall Street Journal, which is like not academic and not peer reviewed. So my intent by saying that the research is murky is to say that even papers like the one I was mentioning aren't necessarily, you know, true, aren't necessarily the gold standard um, and shouldn't necessarily be taken as fact. Um, in the case of that specific paper, I mentioned that I don't necessarily agree with how some of the channels were categorized. I don't. There are certainly channels on those lists that I don't agree with ideologically, um, but I'm sure some of them could be moved into different categories or out of the four categories listed altogether. And you could also certainly make the argument that many of the channels that were listed as neutral might not actually be neutral. The point being that that paper should not be your way of proving, or my way of proving, that there is definitely algorithmic radicalization on YouTube. There's a lot of other anecdotal evidence that points in that direction, but as a scientist, anecdotal evidence isn't something that I necessarily rely on. Um, and so I think that there's a lot of evidence that says that the recommendation algorithm does point in the direction of allowing people to see more extremist content. Um, but I'd really like to see some sort of like massive global study across a ton of different cultures where you could really get a better idea and also control like what people are seeing, um, which sounds like super bad, but I don't really know how else you'd conduct a study to do this, but something where you could really get a better idea of whether or not content is being pushed in some directions. Because YouTube corporate obviously says that it's not and that's in their financial best interest. But, you know, two papers that say that it is also isn't necessarily like the end all be all of this topic. As for why I didn't mention anything liberal, that mostly has to do with the fact that I just didn't find any papers on that. Um, even if you look outside of YouTube at other social media platforms, a lot of the radicalization had to do with um, Islamic faiths and a lot of that isn't an algorithm at all, it's just people who are very good at convincing other people, especially vulnerable people, 
um, to do something that they might not do otherwise in a moment of weakness. Um, so I didn't want to use that as an example because I didn't really feel like it fell into the category of things that I was talking about in this video. Okay, that's the first everyday I peer review. Uh, if you want to read more about this topic, I did a little more digging um, just to have some extra sources to make sure that I was saying the right things for this video. Um, and all of that's in the description box as usual. Let me know if you like these peer reviews. I definitely wouldn't be doing them for every video because one video a week is hard enough with my schedule, um, but I could definitely see doing them, you know, every month or so um, to reflect on past videos and comments that you guys had. Um, and hopefully this leads to more constructive comments from you guys, because I really do like reading the comment section and seeing what you guys think about my content. But yeah, I think that's it. Bye guys.